Uh, today, as I said, we're going to talk about Italy. We're going to talk about white wines of Italy. Um, so this is great if you just happen to like refreshing white wines. Um, also, a really good opportunity for those of you who are studying for your credentials, particularly WSET, but this is really appropriate for anyone um, who just loves good white wine. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. So this is our map of Italy. I'm going to keep referring back to this uh, from time to time. And uh, hopefully you'll, it'll give you an idea of exactly where we are, ge geographically speaking, because that's important. Um, just to give you an overview. So today we're going to start up here in the Veneto, in this region up here in the north east corner of Italy. And then we're going to come down here to the uh, Marche area, which is on the Adriatic Sea. And then we're going to come back up here to the Piedmont region, to Piemonte, and talk about some wines. Um, and so everything in between. So here we go. Before we get into the wines themselves, it's, uh, I think, interesting to find out where does Italy fit in the world of wine today. And um, so where Italy fits is in worldwide production, we are the number one producer in uh, Italy, not we, although I am Italian, uh, Italy is the number one producer, uh, second to France, and then Spain, and then the US and the rest of the world, as you can see in this chart. So that makes them pretty darn significant. <laughs> um, the other thing is, so under consumption, which I always find a very interesting topic. So under wine consumption, Italy is number three. Um, but that is in volume, not per capita. In per capita, uh, usually France, Italy, all the European countries way outdo the United States per capita. We still have a ways to go. Uh, but in in volume, now think about it. If it's just volume, the size of Italy is, you know, I don't know, probably not much bigger than the size of California. <laughs> so just put some perspective on that. Um, wine labels are, uh, I think, one of the biggest challenges that most uh, consumers face when it comes to looking at Italian wines. I think more people would venture out and try things beyond Chianti and Pinot Grigio if they knew a little bit about uh, how to know what the heck they're drinking. And so um, here we have four wine labels. And the thing to remember about Italian wine labels is, you know, here in America, we pretty much name all of our wines for the dominating grape unless we call it a red blend or a white blend. But for the most part, our wines are named for the grape variety. And in Europe, in France, for instance, many times in most cases, uh, the wines are named for their region. But Italy, you know, they like to do things their way. So they have lots of options. So we can have a wine that's named for its grape variety. In this case, you see Pinot Grigio on the left here, right here. So that's named for the grape. The grape variety is Pinot Grigio. And then you can also have a wine that's named for its region. And in this case, the region is Suave. And we don't tell you what the grape is because we don't have to. <laughs> um, and the one thing I wanted to, well, let me finish this and I'll come back to something. And then you could also have a wine that's named for the grape and the region. So in this case, the grape is Moscato. The D stands for from, and the town is Asti. So this label literally means Moscato from Asti. So we have grape plus region. And then we have a label here, this Conte de Vipera. This is a, what I call a creative label. Um, this could be anything from the name of your dog to the name of your castle, your mother's maiden name. It could be any name. Um, and usually these are what we call IGT wines. These are, ble these are wines with less regulation, so they can use these sort of made-up names. But one thing, if you don't know all of the great varieties, and I'm going to guess if you've had Suave before, you probably thought that was the name of a grape. And here's how you know, in some cases, not always, if it's a grape or, or not, or a region, is this DOC, this Denomination de Origine Controllata, could also have the word Garantita, is often a region, not a grape. But as you see here in Pinot Grigio, we just changed the rules that Pinot Grigio is now coming from a DOC region. But anyway, look for those DOCs and you can kind of guess you're probably looking at a grape, um, not so much, or the, I'm sorry, you're looking at a region, not a grape, okay? 